So one of my subscribers asked this question. I've got a concert coming up and I really, really need to practice, but I'm sick. So should I practice or should I just lay off the horn? Well, in this video, I want to give you some suggestions for what you can play on saxophone when you're sick. And this can apply to any wind instrument, by the way. Hi, I'm Donna from DonnaSchwartzMusic.com. So if you just have a cold, you can still practice, but maybe not as much and don't overload yourself with a million things to work on. Be sure to wash out your mouthpiece and sanitize your reeds when you're over your cold. Now I have a video on my DonnaSchwartzMusic.com site under the free stuff tab and the video is how to clean a woodwind mouthpiece. That link is in the description. If you use something like Rejuvenate, where you can store your cane reeds in original Listerine, they're already sanitized. I'll put their link in the description as well. And by the way, I'm not an affiliate for them, but I always recommend Rejuvenate for all of my students. Now, if you don't use Rejuvenate, there's a really good article by Hodge Products that covers many ways to clean and sanitize your reeds. I'll also put that link in the description below. Now, if you do have a sore throat, that's different because number one, it's more painful, and number two, you could aggravate whatever you have even more by playing. So I would definitely suggest taking a break from physically playing. But here's what you can do, here's what you can play on saxophone when you're sick. You could do music reading. It's a perfect time to do this because you won't be distracted by playing. You'll be focused on actually reading and figuring out your notes and your rhythms. You could figure out chords. Um, I call that spelling chords. So you can go old school with pencil and paper and, and drill yourself on your chords. If you don't know which notes to play for the chords, I do have my ultimate chord and chord scale speller course. I'm gonna put the link in the description below for that as well. Now you can go more modern <laughs> and you can use something like Note Flight or Muse Score. These are all free options as of this time. And the benefit is that you can hear the chords as you're typing them in. Plus it's gonna be neater than just writing it. You could work on timing and feeling rhythms. There's so many things out there, but I cover this extensively in my Keep Time Like a Pro course. I'll put the link Link in the description for that as well. Another thing you could work on are fingerings. Not even blowing through the horn, just putting a metronome on or a backing track and working on your fingering technique for the challenging parts of your music. Or if you're working through patterns, if you have it in one key, work on transposing that pattern to all the other keys that you're thinking of. It's a great idea to figure out the notes first and then you could practice fingering them while you're figuring them out. Um, use a metronome so you work on your timing. This is going to save you a ton of time later on and it's possibly also going to save you a lot of time fixing mistakes. All right, other things you could work on are your posture, your breathing, as long as it doesn't aggravate what your, what your sickness may be. Now, another thing you could do, Try your hand at composing or arranging. This is gonna build your ears and musicianship. All right, did these tips help? Let me know in the comments below, and while you're commenting, please like and share this video. Take care and talk to you soon.